Hey, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Beekeeping for Newbies. Thank you so very much for taking the time to listen. I do appreciate you. As always, feel free to drop me an email, jeff at beekeepingfornewbies.com. Now, you are probably listening to this podcast for the very first time. I am updating this. This information that I'm recording right now is summer of 2023. The original pilot that was recorded is about two years old. It was uh, recorded during COVID, and I played it back the other day, and the energy level really wasn't where I thought it needed to be. I think it it didn't scream out to me, yes, I'm excited to be keeping bees, and this is going to be a great place and an exciting adventure. So I wanted to re-record a bit of an intro for you, just because there's so much that has changed, and there's so much that we've done over the past couple of years to build a community. When I say we, I mean all of you, all of the listeners who have been loyally listening for the past couple of years, have contributed and built a bit of a community. We have a Discord server. In that server space, we have over 100 people sharing information on a regular basis, telling their stories, posting pictures and videos and collaborating, and it's just become a really, really cool and exciting place to be. If you'd like to be a part of that, just go to beekeepingfornewbies.com. Now, you'll hear me say this over and over again, but there is another newbies out there they spell theirs n-e-w-b-i-e-s ours is the actual word bees so it's n-e-w-b-e-e-s dot com so beekeeping for newbies.com there is a link on the home page to the discord server if you have any trouble tracking it down just send me an email jeff at beekeeping for newbies.com and we will get you connected to any of the resources that we have and the people on the discord server and everything else Now, I am going to leave all of the original audio intact. I don't want to disturb, disrupt, or take away from what was originally posted. I just didn't feel like the energy level was really where it needed to be, so I wanted to update this intro, and uh, hope you folks enjoy. We've got a lot of episodes teed up. As you go through these episodes, you'll see some that are called the Bee Buzz. The Bee Buzz came up as a result of people who were emailing and sending in questions on a regular basis. And I wanted everybody to hear the answers to those questions because they're the same thing, right? We, we see in this community the same things happening over and over again. So my hope with that was that one person's problem would actually be 10,000 people's problem. And we could kind of kill two birds with one stone versus answering the same questions over and over. So I hope you find it to be useful and valuable. And again, always feel free to reach out. It's Jeff at beekeepingfornewbies.com. I'm going to continue from here and roll right into the original Episode Zero audio. Take care, folks. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, and one more interruption. I'm actually coming back one more time here. Today is April 10th, 2024, and I wanted to come back for one more little announcement to insert into this Episode Zero. I've had a lot of people over the years who have emailed and said something along the lines of, hey, Jeff, I was going through the episodes. There was some terminology that was used early on. I didn't quite get it, and then once we got into some of the later episodes, then some of the earlier stuff kind of made sense. That was absolutely not my intent. My intent was to make sure that I was doing everything in a way that kind of built upon the previous episodes so that by the time you got to episode five, six, seven, eight, nine, you were getting new content and just building on everything you had just heard on the previous episodes. So what I'm doing is tomorrow I will be recording episode 53. Episode 53 is going to be just a lot of terminology on anything I can think of beekeeping related. That's the only way that comes to mind for me to be able to try to consolidate a lot of terminology in one place. Hopefully that will be something that you can listen to episode zero, jump over, check out episode 53, and then come back and resume episode one and and there forward. Like I mentioned before, feel free to reach out if you have any questions, and now we'll get you back to the uh, original episode zero. Thanks. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon, and happy August to you. So my name is Jeff, and I will be your host for Beekeeping for Newbies. So I wanted to take the opportunity here on this episode zero to just give you know, a high level overview of what to expect. I, you know, I don't anticipate the podcast being broken down into season one, two, three, four, anything like that. I think what we're going to do, if it, if it all kind of plays out the way I see it in my mind is going to be sort of a, uh, 
um, a running dialogue with um, starting at episode one. Right? So next time is going to be, I'm going to cover everything about me, my background, what made me say, hey, I really need to do a podcast because I think it's going to accomplish you know, X, Y, and Z. But beyond that, as we go through the rest of the, you know, these episodes and these podcasts, my intent really is to take and establish a foundation of, of what a brand new beekeeper would need. And it's actually the timing I think is going to be pretty exceptional because right now we're in August, August of 2020, the year of the pandemic, the year of the craziness and all the other wild things going on here across the country, which we won't get into in this podcast. But, uh, um, you know, it's it's going to be, uh, from a timing standpoint, once we get first through the first couple of introductory episodes where we're talking about, you know, um, equipment and bees and the importance of bees and, and um, um, you know, what they do for the environment, et cetera, um, the timing is going to align pretty well to, okay, it's fall now. What do we do as part of our fall winter activities to get ready for um you know, for next season, because really for me, I start my, I will, I will start my 2021 season in October, November timeframe. And we will, again, we will dive into all of this as we go through the the remaining of the, uh, the remaining of the seasons here, or um, I'm sorry, the remainder of the episodes. But um, I just wanted to cut and touch on a couple quick concepts, kind of ideas here. So we're going to go through talking about what types of bees are in the hive. Right. We're going to talk about what type of hardware that you're going to need to support those bees. We're going to talk about the gear that you're going to need as a beekeeper. We're going to talk about how your use of that gear will evolve over time. And that's going to make more sense down the road. But, um, but if, if everything goes kind of the way that I think it will in my mind, as we come around to that February, March, April time frame, you're going to be pretty well equipped to jump in and and start start keeping bees and and get ready for spring of 21 now part of that's going to be probably working out a deal with either online package bees picking up bees somewhere local to you which we will certainly discuss in greater detail in the uh, coming weeks but if everything goes the way i'd like it to spring of 21 you're ready to roll so with that um you know we're going to have a lot of material i'm trying to at a minimum produce content every week so I'd like to have at least a weekly podcast where you're getting some kind of new information. Now, life is often a little tricky and there's always something going on. There may be weeks where I might put a squeeze in two or even a third one. Uh, there may be some where I may actually have to take a pause and it may be every, every other week. But we will definitely do the best I can to, uh, to try and give you as much content as possible to get you ready for spring of 21. Once we get into next spring, then it's going to be, you know, tips and tricks for maintaining the hive, things to look out for, um, talking about inspections and all of the things that you're going to do throughout the season and answering controversial kinds of questions around, you know, do I supplemental feed or not? And, you know, do I uh, use a bottom board, you know, solid bottom board or a screened bottom board? Things like that come up all the time. So, again, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I will do a much more detailed intro again of myself and my background in episode one but um very much looking forward to this and um please feel free to reach out to me i will put all my contact info in the subsequent episodes so i definitely am looking for your feedback questions thoughts and uh have a great day and we will look forward to catching up with you soon thanks a lot and uh, thank you for tuning in we'll see you